Good evening, everyone. Uh, we've had a fairly busy day on the on the farm, birthing wise. We've had a couple of calves born today. Uh, this girl here had her uh, lovely Charlie calf this morning. Um, she was actually just after having them at seven thirty, and uh, we moved them down here. And he drank about an hour and a half later. It took him takes them about an hour to get up and get moving on their feet or a little more. So yeah, she. We went on a few jobs and come back in, and he was he was already drinking. So, uh, yeah, so doing doing very well. Um, she is a second time calf or this this cow. Uh, she was a heifer last year, and uh, she was actually a twin. Her, t uh, her twin lost the calf earlier this year, and uh, yeah, we ended up we ended up putting our twin in for for fattening. So. Uh, this is she. She's much better. She was the much better heifer of the two. So we'll have to, yeah, just keep an eye on and make sure everything, everything's okay. Uh, this little fella here is only just after being born. Well, he's not too little. Um, born to another heifer. Um, we actually had to put the jack on this fella and take him out. It's the first one we've ever had a jack out of this bull. So. Uh, all my praise that I was given him the other day, never having the jack anything out of him, I changed this evening. Um, I'm actually putting it, putting it down to them being on spuds for the last couple of weeks and uh, the calf becoming a little bit big. Hopefully this isn't going to cause an issue for the last, oh, I suppose there's seven left now. There was nine, I think, and we're down to seven. Um, but... Yeah, I've put this fill in a couple of times now to <laughs> try and help him to get drinking. She was she was kind of walking around the pen and she wanted him in front of her all the time and they uh, wouldn't let him walk up alongside her. So she's probably a little bit sick still. So we, uh, I just said I'd put her in and see if I can get him a drink. I got him latched on a half a dozen times or more. But he's the slobberiest, messiest drinker I've ever seen. He, he gets latched on and his tongue is coming out the side of his mouth on either side or could be coming anywhere. And... But ah, he'll get there. I'll put him back in there in a second. Um, yeah, this girl got moved in the back. These were all bedded earlier on, but she's made a complete mess of it. Uh, along with these guys here, they were all bedded earlier as well. And uh, they're starting to muck it up as well. We didn't get any of the cows out today because it was raining. And uh, yeah, we just kind of got held up as well. The two calves being born kind of delayed us a wee bit from getting at the jobs we wanted to get at. Uh, we also, also I was a spreading slurry and there was a bit of ground that we reseeded last year. It was sprayed for weeds but there was a couple of sections of it, the weeds didn't die off properly and it choked out the grass. So we did seed it in the back end uh, last October but with the bad weather it never grew. So we had uh, we seeded it again and slurried it down today so hopefully that should that should. Uh, just tidy up a couple of patches where it, uh, where the grass was choked out. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I was at today. We didn't get, we didn't really get going to this. With the weather being wet, we didn't like letting these girls out. So we'll see what it's like in the morning. Uh, if it's dry enough in the morning, we're going to. So some of these calves have to be dehorned still. So uh, I think myself and Ben might be going to dehorn them. And. Yeah, we'd have to just sort through them then because there's certain cows we want to put with with certain bulls because uh, for the uh, for I'm I'm the ICBF like a lot of circle farmers is and we need to put all the the top rated cows with the, the five star bull and that way we have a better chance of producing a, a four or five star replacement heifer. Uh, which is what you want, whether you're going to keep it or whether you want to use it for a replacement then after that is your own choice, but uh, it's to be able to, to try and get the, the best the best rated heifer that you can. Um, we're not bad for on numbers wise, we have got, uh, this year I only really need 20, it's rated on 50 cows, even though we've been up a wee bit on the cow numbers, uh, it's still only rated on 50 cows. and. Uh, I need 20 this year and I need 25 then for 2020 but I think I'm at like 24 or 5 as it is um, a lot of these cows uh, yeah the, a lot of these cows have 
the reason that they aren't high on the ratings, even though they should be high up, is there mightn't have been a sire registered to them or something like that, and it just it all affects the all affects the the way the rating looks. Not that I don't have much faith in the ICBF anyway, because some of the cows that are rates of five star, uh, and some of the cows that rates at maybe only a one or a two star is. It should be the other way around, but look, we have to play along with it. Um, yeah, so these these are the oldest calves here. They're doing extremely well. Uh, I'd like to, I'd, I'd love to see them out at this stage because they're running around and playing here in the the pens all the time, and uh, they'll they'd have plenty of sport when they get out to the gra out on grass. So. Yeah, that'll be in the next day or so, and I'll I'll take as much footage as I can as we're moving them. We'll probably just move them with the jeep and trailer, so I'll I'll have, I'll be, have plenty of opportunities to get to get footage of them. We won't be able to take maybe three cows and ca three calves or something like that in, in, on each run. So uh, yeah, there'll be plenty of chances to get to get footage. But that's that's really that's really it for the minute. Um, I'm gonna put this calf back in and see if I can get him to, to latch on and uh, yeah we'll see you tomorrow it's only a short video this evening but uh, yeah it'll be a bit longer tomorrow alright we'll talk to you all tomorrow thank you very much for watching